spring and boy, finding a vaccine appointment is hard enough, let alone booking one online. It's especially challenging for older adults who need maybe a little extra hand with the technology. Well, a group of retirees in Tacoma is now banding together to help. And Bonnie McGuire is one of the people behind this effort. She joins us now this morning to talk about how she is helping so many people out there. Bonnie, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So we have heard that you have been getting flooded with calls and emails, like hundreds of emails in your inbox. And no surprise, because so many people need help out there. I would want to know, what's the biggest tip or what's the biggest thing that you've learned since you started doing this for people? I would say that not giving up and doing it for an hour a day is not enough. You actually have to come at it three, four, sometimes five hours a day. Uh, have a phone next to you that you can have a TV show running or something so that you can be watching it while you're plowing through it. It's whack-a-mole. You are playing whack-a-mole. It's a very unfair, inequitable system where people are jumping from site to site to site instead of going to one site. It's ridiculous. But we're helping. We've moved away from trying to schedule people because we have 600, 700 emails of people who need help. Uh, and so now we're looking to train people to do it. So we're setting up Zoom meetings to train. And, and Bonnie, it's just out of the goodness of your heart that you're helping here and you and your volunteers, you're not getting paid to do this. And what's compelling you to, to actually take the next step and, and get people signed up like this? The inequity, we would actually prefer to help people who are in poverty, who don't have the kind of access or the tools or the bandwidth. Uh, people who are not white and middle class typically pay for their data in increments and the more data they use, the bigger their bill. So they don't have the unlimited access that a lot of us can sign on for. Uh, it's an anti-poverty system right now and I would like to see our state step up and do something different and, and help people get what they need. And we should mention, Bonnie, that you're a former high school principal, so you're really used to like keeping track of a lot of kids and databases and such, and that's why your skills have been able to help so many people. What's been the reaction? I mean, that's got to feel good. When you're finally able to help someone and help them book an appointment, you've probably just made their entire year. What's the reaction been for you? I think it must be what gamblers feel like when they hit the big <laughs> the big slot machine because you get all shaky and it's pretty exciting and you email the person and when they call you back and let you know that you've got that they've gotten their shot I have to tell you there are times when you just cry because it's one less person who's afraid one less person who feels alone um, it's an amazing feeling uh, to get that shot and we want everybody to have that feeling yeah, yeah, and I know. I, I said it was like I hit the lotto when I made my mom's appointment. Like, yeah. <laughs> I won it. I won the jackpot. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for what you're doing, Bonnie. This is incredible. How can people reach out to you? Right now, we're we're going to uh, we're putting on a Facebook. It'll be called Vaccine Bookers uh, Washington, and so people can reach us there, and we'll post links for our Zoom trainings. And we're hopefully, you know, the old adage, teach people to fish because we're not catching the fish right now. I was on at 530 this morning. There are no appointments that I can find in Pierce County for folks who can't drive outside of Pierce County. Yeah, boy. And we don't mean to keep flooding your inbox because we know you have hundreds already sitting there waiting this morning. But <laughs> vaccine bookers at gmail.com is how you reach out to Bonnie vaccine bookers at gmail.com. Bonnie, thanks for getting up early with us this morning. It's a good thing you're doing. Have a good day. Yeah, thank you. Take care.